slept over. Oh, there wasn't much sleeping going on. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just Dad. Oh, we better go. We haven't finished christening Emma and James's new flat yet. Mm. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. We can't get busted under dust sheets with all this. Lock it. Someone downstairs. Oh, you don't say who. Don't care. They've gone now anyway, so time to roll the dice. But the bag, the book. Oh, back in play. Dad has sort the kids out for school, so we have all morning. How did you manage that? My tyre's flat. It needs pumping up. It could take hours to get rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Tara what? Tara? Yeah? Massa? Yeah? Lata? Oh, sounds like an insect. No one's gonna want it. Classy people will. They'll have it with the wine. Charge him a bomb. Will your dad be there? No, he's in client meetings with me all day. Please, Rakesh, it's just one piece. It's a giant wall-sized media unit. It'll take me all day to do it on my own. Well, ask Ronnie. It's his day off. Hey, you two, you'd like this uh, swanky dip, wouldn't you? Oh, gross. What is it? It's Tara Master. It's fish gunk. Dude brain's here over-ordered. <laughs> By how many? Ah, oh, smidgen. A thousand units? Well, it's Seren dip a tea, isn't it? Because now I get to build a tower of the stuff and people can guess how many tubs are in my tower masalata. <laughs> Just came up with that. <coughs> uh, are any of you two any good at flat pack furniture? There's a tub of this in it for you if you help me with a media unit. Rishi broke the old one, all those aerobics videos. He doesn't work out to them, Rakesh. He just watches them. So, who's in? I'm working. Tower Masalata. Tower Masalata! Yo, Vic! Vic, come here, will ya? That childbirth's less painful than that awful outfit. What even is all this? Well, this? Well, this is just a tiny taster of what you're going to get on your holiday. And this spicy little outfit that you're loving is coming all the way to a beef with us. Well, we can, can we? That guy took the cash that we were counting on. Mm. Forget that bit, right? We'll make more money. You know, me at the yard, you with the van. Yeah, it's going to take a few more weeks later than planned. But hey, I'm telling you, good times are going to come, baby. <laughs> Oh, come on. You've already got that extra gig at home for that. No, I, um, I rang Andy back and told him I'm not doing it. What? I wasn't in the mood. Babe. I don't it's no big deal. Yeah, but he's still going to come out in the van later, right? You know, once I've fitted it with a new lock. Well, Hotton's not exactly buzzing on Tuesdays, is it? I just thought I'd take the day off. Don't look so worried. I have told you that many times. I am fine. I just, I don't feel like working today, that's all. Another slow day in the van? Oh, I've not even taken it out yet. Won't be ready till this afternoon. Adam wants to do some more stuff to it. Wait, what? Well, you know, add another lock. Give Victoria some more security. Oh. How's she seem? Good, considering. Hmm. A silly question. So you do a bit of shopping on your morning off? I thought these might help Victoria. Now, if someone's got a worried, she can spray them with this. See? Or <laughs> deafen them with this. Just might make her feel a bit safer. Well, it makes me feel safer knowing you girls having them. Vic's lucky to have you looking out for her. Mm. See you later. Mate, I'm so sorry. I, I don't know what happened. I've been up since crack of dawn building that. It's a uh, Tarama disaster. <laughs> Want me to get them up and bucket? No, I will. That's fine, we'll do it. Mate, I feel bad enough as it is. At least let me help clear it up. Or maybe you could uh, help him rebuild it. You know, make it a bit safer. He was safe. He's right, I was clumsy. There are loads clumsy than you. You were lucky that it was Rack that knocked this over and not someone less forgiving. Let me stick around and help you build a me-proof display. We'll take all day if we need to. 
Fine. Mop and buckets in the cupboard. Well, tell Victoria we'll pay her double. Tried that, she said no. Reckon she wants a day off. Wouldn't even lend us a hand. But the reps are going to be here any minute. This is our only chance to get on their books. Well, but the food doesn't matter. They just want to see our plans for the site. These guys have cornered the market of corporate dues and stag dues because they only recommend the best to their clients. We're going to look like complete amateurs if we can't at least put on a spread. Well, then I'll pick us something up while you give them the tour. But you've learned about all the gear. You know where the zip wires and the high ropes go. And this... this hangs on us presenting together. Help, Bernice, please. These reps are the key to getting this up and running. Is this your rope and slide thing of me? Our outdoor adventure business. Well, I suppose I could heat up a few sausage rolls for you. I don't think sausage rolls will cut it today. What about those posh things that you love from the deli in town? You called them fiddly and slimy and said you'd rather have a burger. Well, that's because I'm common as muck. Well, I suppose I could pop into town and pick some up. And make sure you get some champagne as well. And put them on the good platters. Sounds like them. You ready to knock them dead? The room. Everything okay at the storage place? Uh, shouldn't this place be signed off before unpacking it? Well, because of the digger crash. Oh, it's already signed off. Didn't Rack tell you? Look, thank you so much for doing this on your day off and for keeping him in the dark. Yeah, I'm not comfortable with lying. Well, this is just a small white lie. Uh, also, what's happened here? Because it was freshly plastered last month. Yeah, I reckon your husband would know. Call him over, ask him. Not until I've got this place looking like home. And is this building gear? Yeah, probably. When have it dropped off? No idea. But could you move it into the hallway for me, please? It's not quite the look I'm going for today. Sure. Thank you. Come on. Very swish. Oh, I'm so sorry I had to cancel lunch. How can I compete with shiny new fixtures and fittings? Well, if it's any comfort, I cancel my meetings with people far more important than you two. <laughs> Why are you unpacking before it's ready? Oh, cos Rack is getting cold feet on this place. He thinks we should be living somewhere bigger and grander. Mm, fancy house for his fancy woman. Oh, big, empty and awful. But I was thinking if I cosy this place up a bit, make it look a bit more like ours, then maybe he would see that this is our dream home. Hmm? Is that silly? Mm, yeah. But I can lend you a hand, because some Dave has just cancelled my lunch plans. <laughs> Oh, do you know, mine has got 20 on the bottom. Why is yours so... 30 sub... gives more stability. Mm, size doesn't always count. And why is yours square? It's supposed to be round. Carly, round or square? Mmm, square. Oh, do you know, you are a... Let's take a break. He only wants to shove more fish gunk on you. Oh, turns out I don't mind a bit of fish sludge. Yeah, there you go. That's what I was saying. It's for classy people, not people whose palates aren't used to it, you know. Oh, you're not having any? Oh, no. You know, with the chemo, it's just a bit smelly and rich at the moment. Yeah, of course. Uh, well, more for me and Carly. Mate, it's all yours. Now, here's a couple with impeccable taste. Interest you in some terra masalata? Mm, selling dips now as well as houses. <laughs> well, only to the most discerning buyers. Yeah, yeah. right. Just the mag's time. The July ones are in tomorrow. No, please. No more house porn. Haven't we already got half of these? No. They all just look the same. Yeah, it costs more than the flat itself. Which is still a bargain at twice the price. Look, pull up a chair, have a drink, see if we can't tempt you with some of David's delicious dip. Ah, uh, sorry. Colours to choose, fixtures to find. Uh, drinks, you say, with alcohol. Uh, come on, you. We're doing this sober, or we'll end up with walls that colour. Right. See ya. Bye. See ya. Oh. You all right? Yeah, it's just a bit of cramping. Oh, told you. What, it's not this stuff, is it? No, of course not. Mm. Ooh, looks all greasy. Why does it smell like baby oil? Haven't you washed? Of course I have, but we used a whole bottle. <laughs> I love a bit of adrenaline in the morning. Never moved so fast in my life. And last night. Oh, true. <laughs> Mad, wasn't it? Can't stop thinking about it anymore. Got me through four loads of washing. Fixed your flat then. On your car? The one parked outside your house when I took your children to school this morning? You were just down the road, weren't you? At the B&B. 
No, no, the taxi had a flat. Thanks for holding the fort, Dad. Yeah, never again. My grandchildren are terrors. It was one night. Yeah, well, I won't survive a second. It's like herding cats who've eaten the wrong kind of mushrooms. <laughs> well, they're not as bad as Gabby. You'd be late picking them up. No, Doug's getting them when he picks up Arthur. Right, you get the caffeine in, and I'll mark up the pages you need to look over. I want what you want, darling. I want you to have an opinion for yourself. You're looking at these pages. Page 33 has got the extension we're doing. Oh, look, ours is more spacious, obviously. Oh, exciting. Yeah, it is. Mm. Hang on, we're getting a shed. Oh, Ronnie's coming tomorrow, giving us a quote for the extension. Well, unless it's zero quid, we can't afford it. Tell her. We'll get a loan. We're living month to month as it is. Oh, and whose fault is that? Yeah, no one. Our house is fine. It's pokey. Cosy. If you weren't such a snob, you'd appreciate it. And if you weren't such a useless slob, you'd stop making excuses. I'm not living like a loser just because you're a lazy deadbeat who sits around the house scratching his bum all day. Oh, Adam, are you trying to turn her off you for life? What are you trying to do? <laughs> that, make her laugh. <laughs> Stop it, I just want to cheer her up, you know, remind her that we can still go away and have fun. Even after what that little deadbeat did to her. But I thought she was coping OK. No, she says she is, but she's not. I mean, she even turned down a job at home farm today. Why? Oh, because she didn't feel like it. Acted like I was being a jerk for asking her. Well, it makes sense if the breaking is shaking her up. Yeah, I know, Mum. Well, it's not like anything's gonna happen at home farm, is it? And she's not even taking the van out later, either. So what's the rush? Because I just wanted to see that everything's still normal. Well, you can't act like it never happened, that she wasn't attacked. Mum, I'm not trying to. Well, why are you pushing her? Because... I know, because everything was just perfect for her. You know, she was dead proud of the van and she had her own little business going and... Now she doesn't even want to go and hear it. It's only been a few days. Yeah, I know. The longer she leaves it, get in the van and take it out there, the worse it's going to be for her. Or she just needs time to get her bearings. After Karen ran into me, it was weeks before I could pull myself together properly. Mum, that's completely different. Well, not really. I mean, both of us have put a brave face on. And if Kane had pushed me before I was ready, it would have set me back. You can't be sure of that. No, but I am sure with him supporting me and letting me have the time and no pressure, it's what got me through. And it's what will get Victoria through it, so don't force this. Aw, oh, like you built a little fort together. Better than any fortress, it's like a little city. Here, we use these as, um, as um, trains. No, buses. Oh. You were a little Lego geek as a kid, weren't you? No, I was a Lego legend. Here, mate, come here. I know how much you like the stuff. Just uh, tuck it in, you've earned it. Oh, I don't think that's a good idea. What? I thought you said there was nothing wrong with the stuff. Can I? Oh, I need your loo. Get it out of his face before he explodes all over the shop floor. Oh. First, he's almost crushed by your tower of tubs, and then you poison him. You're not going to be best mates for much longer, are you? the bacon, so it's my call. Look, let's head home. You're running my business while I run our home. Well, if you did more than sit around, you could have a say. Oh, stop making out I do nothing all day. I've been there, Jimmy. I've run the household while holding down a job and raising a kid all at the same time. When we had one child and I always pulled my weight, now we've got three kids and all you do around the place is complain. Well, your work is sloppy. I cook for you, I clean for you, I pick up after you. <laughs> what do you pick up? Everything. Your keys, your knickers, your bags, you're always leaving them about. Jimmy. And I scurry around after you like some pathetic galley slave. Jimmy! Did you pick up the bag before? <laughs> Which one? The bag. No. <sighs> you see? Sloppy. I'll have to sort it like I do everything. I, I don't think she... She meant... meant every word. I don't think she intended to leave her bag behind. Well, I'm not running after her with it. She needs to see what a lazy bum is really like. Right. All set. Pretty much. Too much? Nah. 
<laughs> Kieran said they only gave him this because he broke his ankle score in a slam dunk. He acted like he didn't care, but he still told me how he won each and every one of them. <laughs> Rakesh, too. He is ridiculously proud of Kieran Silverware. Well, we're done here anyway, so why don't we grab our stuff and cross our fingers that this is enough to convince Rakesh that this is our home. Mm. <sighs> right, well, I'll go and check on refreshments, give you a chance to discuss where you're going to put us on your list of preferred providers. No, I'm, I'm kidding, so we'll be number one, obviously. Thank you. Won't be long. I love you. Going well? They reckon we're just what they need to pitch team building days to their corporate clients. This looks great. Fiddly and slimy, as ordered. Right, well, could you bring that out while we go and talk figures? Well, I'm not exactly dressed for waitressing. She didn't mean that. Come on, I grab these. Get the glasses. Let's go and crunch some numbers. So, uh, why does he want to buy a bigger place before he's got a job? Because huh. that's Rack, an optimist. Now, he's convinced that everything will come good. But a bigger house means a bigger mortgage. He's not going to get the salary to cover it around here. He'll have to spend half his time in London or Leeds. I mean, we'll never see him. Now, he has to realise that this is our future. That it's all we could ever want because it keeps us together. You reckon? Yeah, it's like I never crashed into a wall. <laughs> Victoria will have no idea. Yeah, she better not either. She's had enough nasty surprises lately. Don't go crashing it again, yeah? But I can't help idiot drivers. He cut me up. Sorry, I just don't want to give Vic any more reasons to get spooked. But she uh, had a little strop at me earlier because I asked if she was taking the van out tonight. So? So, she's avoiding it. Well, she said she's all right. Then why isn't she here taking the van out then? Because she's tired or, I don't know, fed up with a naggy husband. <laughs> she's allowed a day off. Look, I know when my wife's not right, Ollie. But maybe you could help her out, convince her to go out with you today in the van. OK. Really? <laughs> yeah, of course. Mate, it's still my job. All right, Sam. We'll just keep an eye on her, yeah? Make sure she's all right. She is all right. <laughs> but fine, I'll keep an eye on her if it'll shut you up. Cheers, <laughs>
No problem, love. Any minute now. Yes, love, you can trust me. All right, see you soon. Old friend. What? You called a love. Don't be daft. It was a cab fare. Pete's ducked down. Asked me to cover the phones. Ross is late picking up some poor old biddy. I was trying to calm her down. Sorry. Come here. I'm not going through this hell on my own. Well, cheer up. At least you're not Jimmy King. Yeah, <laughs> I reckon even Jimmy wouldn't want to swap places with me right now. Uh, uh, laugh it up, buddy. But if we don't choose the right colours, then you'll be the one repainting the walls when I change my mind. Yeah, I've never done this whole new place decorating from scratch thing. At least not when we could afford to go for it. Yeah, it is a step up from having to use the leftover paint from next door's shed. Oh, yes. That beautiful mouldy green. <laughs> <laughs> it's time. We're going to do it right. Hey, we should have a proper housewarming. Maybe double up with a winning reception. It's not like we'd have much of a crowd. And... Mm. Two fresh starts in one day. Yeah. Promise me this is it. We'll never move again. I won't if you won't. All right. Well, the fiddly slimy bites went down a treat. But me, I still prefer a burger. Well, the dishwasher's full, so you'll have to wash that up yourself. I'm done being your skivvy. That's not what you are. Well, just ignore me. I'm having an off day. Why? <sighs> because I'm an idiot, but you already know that. Go on, you go and work on your perfect little future together. Me and Chris are, yeah. We have got a shot at our future. You need to get used to it. I'm happy for you, really. I'm not asking you to be happy. Just snap out of this. That kiss was a stupid mistake. I know. Then move past it. I have. You think I'm jealous? Hey, are they out of date? Because out of date doesn't always mean out of date, you know. I could uh, help take them off your hands. They're poison. It's posh poison. But I'd stay away. You'd be on bog all day. Mm. Uh, what have you done with my husband now? Uh, he's in the loo. He's been there a while, actually, thanks to David's dangerous dips. Can't remember who paid your wages, can't you? He's got a bit of tummy trouble, and we're not 100% sure what, um, what caused it. So. But we're ditching the evidence anyway. Aren't we? out trolling the mean streets of Hotton today, then, love? Obviously. Of course not. I don't think I could face it if it were me. Being attacked in your own business. I don't think I'd be brave enough to step foot back in this place after something like that. Um, you mean my seat, Brenda? Oh, <laughs> right you are. Oh, nice to see you out and about, love. 
Most people will be stuck at home praying that the police nab him. Well, like you can see, she's uh, not hiding away. She's trying to have a drink in peace. Will you let her, please? Oh, and a bacon butty for me. I don't need protecting from Brenda, of all people. Well, good thing I wasn't protecting you then. Like I said, she was in my seat. Here, take these for when we go out next. What's a bit of red paint gonna do? That stuff will stop a guy in seconds and give you a chance to get away. And well, that lets everyone know. <laughs> Thank you. Not that you'll need it. And there's always going to be someone at the yard now when you drop the van off. Yeah, Adam said, but I'm fine. Well, you know what my brother's like. He fussies like a little old woman. Yeah, but Holly... Yeah, but... He wants to make sure that you don't go out in the van on your own. So, um, he volunteered me. Good thing I like your company. How does today grab you? My bruises look rank. You're right. You're hideous. You just stick to the cooking and leave the serving to me, yeah? Once we get back out there, you'll see what happened. It was just a freak attack, never to be repeated. Come on, let's get prepping. Sure. Oh, I'll take it with me. No, you can eat and um, I'll prep. Just come up when you're done and we'll take it from there. You're back then? Just. Those for Benice, she filled you in. On what? What have you done now? She had a go at me. Said she knew about us. Oh, you told her. Don't read anything into that. She caught me going through some old letters. Uh... From me? You kept them? Well, they're not deliberately. They were stuck in a pile of old junk. Well, I told her as much. Well, that didn't help the state she was in. But I'm glad for you it's finally out. It's not out. There's nothing to come out. Despite your pushing and prodding and interfering. Larry, I'm not getting into this again. Hate me all you want, but I'm not the problem here. Hate you? No, I despise you. I wish you'd never been born. No, worse. You know, I lie awake at night imagining all the ways that you might die so that my life can get back to normal. If only you could fall off a roof or have a car. Enough! You want me dead? I just want you to be free and happy. Of you. I'm jealous of what you have with Chrissy. Well, what's the difference? Everything. You and Chrissy are all happy and rubbing it in, being a team together and being all over each other, and it just makes you want to throw something at you. But it's. We can't be together. I don't want you. I want to be happy with my husband. Instead, I'm stuck drowning in a marriage full of problems. So you're not hung up on the kiss? No. I'm hung up on whether I've still got a marriage worth staying in. I hope so. I thought you were breaking in! Why well, would I do that? Holly sent me here to help set up. Well, why didn't you say it was you? Well, I didn't think there were anyone in here. It was locked. Because Adam padlocked it! Why? You know why. You should have called out or something. Oh, well, forgive me for trying to help out. Fred, I'm so sorry. 
Don't worry about it. <laughs> Bit early for Halloween, isn't it, Finn Bob? Yeah, shut up. <laughs> what happened? Well, the good news is your new lock works a treat. That's my seat! Says who? Get off! Make me. Angelica King! What? He made me. Do you know what? Act like I'm not even here. <laughs> Dad! Not here, remember. <laughs> Just like your mum wants it. What are you doing back so early? Not you home for days. You're sorry to see me back already. I didn't say that. Well, like you, I was worried about the state of our marriage, so I came home to do whatever it takes to keep you. Am I too late? Uh, the way you were with Andy... He I... knows everything. That we're struggling, huh? Everything that we're not sharing a bed, and why. About Ronnie, everything. When you left, I, I, I just lost it. All I could think about was getting rid of Ronnie. And, um... I drove a digger into the porch at Mill Cottage. Andy took the blame for me, so I had to tell him. Does anybody else know? No, not from me. I only told Andy because... Because I all but drove you crazy. You can trust him to keep it quiet. Sorry. Don't be. It's not your fault. I should never have left. People have been wondering why you went on your own. Well, Nicola mainly. So I had to tell her something. What? You've been having a torrid affair with another woman. Oh. I've made such a mess of everything. You kidding? Is he still up there? I'm gonna go see if he's all right. Oh, give the guy a break. Not like he's gonna drown or anything, is it? Probably after a bit of peace and quiet. You know, my dad goes in the bog to play Sudoku to get away from the twins. He's never in there that long. Mm, my dad takes his phone in sometimes to watch videos. The aerobics videos that you were on about earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, why do you guys need to take anything in there at all? <laughs> Not me, I don't. I'm going up. Hey there. Hey. Hey, uh, I thought you'd still be in meetings. Oh, no, no, they, uh, they fell through. Are you all right? I am now. Hey, you're burning up. But I feel better. Did David poison you? Uh, I reckon it must have been a bug. Uh, I was feeling a bit funny first thing, too. So it wasn't the dip? Uh, no, I don't think so. But I've just binned it all! You don't think we can... No, we are not going bin diving. And anyway, even if they weren't off, they will be now because it says to store at five degrees Celsius. <laughs> are you sure you're OK? I wasn't feeling myself, but I'm better now. Yeah, you mucky pup. You've trekked mud everywhere. Normally, you're Mr Spick and Span. We live in a village. I mean, dirty shoes are part of the uniform. Hmm. I've got to get them up. Matt, so you swear you're OK? Yes, just not too comfortable being grilled about it all. Good. Right, well, then you need to come with me. Come on. Uh, actually, um... Uh, might some water first. Yeah, I'll get that, no problem. Right, because I'll turn it on you both. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Says it takes up to a week to fade. <laughs> Guys, I'm pitching for the council contract tomorrow. How can they take me seriously when I look like this? Right, we'll just tell them it's a theme cab company, yeah? And this this is 
I don't know, we could put like zigzags on you and turn you into Darth Maul. Ads, we need to sign the contract. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate, but I'm not hearing anyone else coming up with any better solutions. Finn, I'm so sorry. Babe, this isn't your fault. I know, Ads is right, Vic. I should have said something. Well, I'm the one who bought the spray, aren't I? Yeah, but I used it and I should have checked to see who it was, but instead I panicked because I shouldn't have even been in there yet. I'm not ready. And I just need a few more days off, OK? Yeah, yeah, of course, there's no rush. Whatever you need, as long as it takes, yeah? We won't push you, I promise. I like your colour scheme. Kids, food, fight. I'm a useless, lazy slob, so no point trying to stop them. And what about cleaning up? Useless, lazy, slob. Where are the children? Upstairs playing dress up in mummy's clothes. And makeup. <laughs> and this is going to fix things. Nope. But my wife already thinks this is all I do all day, so I might as well enjoy it. So you're teaching her a lesson? I'm being the man that she thinks I am. Be? No. Where is she? Probably still at work, waiting for me to come crawling after her. But it's not going to happen. Not this time. Avocados. I have checked with Bob as well. Anyway, what's the urgency? This isn't one of them cravings, is it? T tell me it's not. Why are you having cravings? <sighs> right, well, you can make as many face masks as you want, but don't give me a scale like that again, you silly moo. minutes ago I was too ill to do anything. Are you not the least bit curious about where I'm taking you? You know, what the surprise is? What is it? Well, that would be telling, wouldn't it? Come on! OK, OK, just let me finish this. I wasn't just saying it. I missed you. Every day. I need you by my side. Why? Is your moustache? My what? Your moustache, your, your, your beard, whatever it's called, your, your fake wife. <laughs> no. <laughs> How do I convince you that I'm not gay? What do I have to do? More. <laughs> Vanessa! <laughs> right, sit down. Put your head on your knees, just breathe, right? I need water. You can't, not until the medics give the all clear. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Do you love me? Because I love you. You loved Ronnie. No. Yes, he says yes. He's infatuated, I told you. Well, he didn't seem infatuated or wacko. He just seemed sad. Yeah, of course he does, because he, he sees what you mean to me. After all these years of obsessing, even Ronnie can tell that you're my everything. Why can't you? What about the letters? I mean, I, I read them, all my love. He wrote that, not me. He's nothing to me, then or now. What I don't get is why you've kept them all these years. I didn't keep them. I, I'd forgotten about them. <sighs> Just wish we could forget about him. Then do. It'll be as if he never existed. How? By focusing on us and nobody else. Letting no one come between us. Please, don't leave me, Burn. I'm lost without you. Dad, when did you get back home? Just now. I don't suppose I could steal you for a drink, could I? I've got a few things I need to fill you in on. I'd rather stay here. No, 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 you, you go. I'm, I'm going to have a soak in the bath. See you for dinner. Any ideas what it could be? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. You're here. What is inside looking for you, Vanessa? But she went home. She'll be out by now. Firefighters are on the way. Oh, she'll definitely be out by now. Should be at any minute, mate. Put your shit. I'll be fine, Jimmy. I'm safe now. He's unconscious and unresponsive. Okay, so step back and give him space. He can't be dead, Jimmy. He said my life ago. He's not dead! It'll be alright. He has to be. He has to be alright. And we'll see how Rakesh deals with this disaster when Emmerdale continues tomorrow night at 7. Next tonight, though, Alan Titchmarsh and the team are back working their magic for some very special people in the new series of Love Your Garden, and then following the day-to-day -day reality of doing time in one of America's toughest prisons in life inside jail, Hell on Earth, brand new at nine.